Hello everyone. Okay, so I told you that I would tell you about the dreams that I had after my husband died. Um, my most, the most interesting thing that wasn't a dream that happened was like uh, the night that, the, no, the, yeah, the night that he died when I was finally alone and everybody left, I the phone rang and I picked it up and all I could hear was this long distance type tunnel noise, like it was long distance and uh, nothing was said. And I just kind of like kept listening for a long time because I, I, I don't know like what happens, you know, when someone dies, except I had this dream soon after. And I was at Heavenly Valley, and that's where I used to ski as a little girl, right? At, well, from 11 on. And um, the his family... My in-laws were having this picnic at the end of my favorite ski run. And um, my ski run was... Heavenly Valley's been named something else now. But the ski run that I liked was Roundabout. And on Roundabout, you, you go up to Sky Chair, and then you get on Roundabout, and then you can go down... Um, oh, I forgot. Waterfall which is the moguls, and then you can catch the face. So you can go all the way from the top to the bottom on several different runs. But roundabout was my favorite because I like to like ski downhill and do jumps and stuff. And there was this log that I used to do jumps on. And um, I was standing right by it in this dream. And Virgil appeared. That's my husband. Okay. And, oh, God, he looked so beautiful. Oh, my God. I've never seen him look so beautiful, and I was crying. I, I was standing away from his family who were, you know, the, there was a picnic table there, and they were all laughing and eating, and um, I was disturbed by that because I was grieving, and I didn't want to be there. I wasn't happy, and I was crying, and then, you know, he appears, and I said, Virgil, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead. And he said, I have nine days until I die. Nine days. Nine has an important meaning in my faith. Like, And in, in your life, it took nine months for you to be created in the womb. And um, so... And you should look up the biblical uh, references to the number nine. Like when I pray in Novena, like I prayed for my husband um, on the first Saturday of every month, I prayed the Holy Rosary. To, and um, just in case he was in purgatory, you know, so that he could get out of there and get into heaven, you know, and I just prayed for him. And you do it for nine months. And then Mother Mary asks her son the favor that I asked her. And that is that he go to heaven, right? But in this dream, he touched my face like this. And he gave me the most beautiful kiss. And he embraced me. And I felt the whole thing. I felt it. I didn't. I don't feel things in my dreams. Oh, and I saw vivid colors. You know, I saw Heavenly Valley and Lake Tahoe shining in the the blue lake. In the oh, Lake Tahoe is so beautiful. From when you're way up in in the mountains and you're looking down into the basin, and then he disappeared, and I woke up.
that was my most favorite dream. And then a couple, I don't know, years after that, he appeared in another dream. And he was just walking up the sidewalk from outside of the residence that we shared in Santa Clara and um, California. And beautiful again. He always was beautiful to me, but oh my God, he was beautiful. And I was standing on the porch of the house outside and um, he was walking by and he stopped and he looked at me and he said, you know, I love you. And then that was the end of that dream. I always wake up because I, I get so emotional and shocked, you know, that he's in my dreams. And um, not one of my dreams, but his oldest brother had a dream. And Virgil appeared to him and said, take care of my sons. So, you know... If you've just lost somebody, you know, um, God does send comforters to comfort you. I, I felt God's comfort several times after my husband died, you know, and I shared a video about that. And um, it's been, I married him in 1988 and it's 2022 now. And what would we be celebrating 40 something years or something together? And I think of the life we could have had, you know. But I know that I'll see him again, and it's going to be just like that for him. You know how when we go to sleep at night and we wake up in the morning after a rest, and it's just that's how I think it's going to be. And because um, time, I feel, only exists here. I don't know. I'm no expert. But I just thought I would uh, share that with you. Death is ugly. So ugly. The dying person, though, is being freed from this life. And, you know, one thing that I'm glad about is that if your heart stops beating suddenly, like my husband's did, just suddenly, it's not long after that the brain dies. And I'm glad that happens so that we don't suffer that much. I don't know. You know... You see, you see these uh, shows and videos of, and you hear about afterlife experiences where people leave their bodies and they, they leave the crime scene or whatever. And that brings me comfort too because they don't have to feel what's going on down there anymore, you know? And um, so... I just thought I would share that with you guys. Have a good Saturday.